So now we're going to talk about the increased efficiency of USB power over household AC power. So one advantage of rechargeable batteries is that they can be recharged with multiple sources. So for example, a battery like this, it has the ability to be charged from a lithium ion power bank, so you could charge multiple batteries at once with one USB cable, or you can charge the battery itself individually using the micro USB or the USB-C input that just tucks away after the battery's charged. See that? Pops open to charge it, closes it. So the advantage of DC over AC, and when I say DC, I'm talking about direct current. So batteries store energy is DC. And an illustration of why this is important is some people have a flashlight, for example, that has a wall plug. So it's a rechargeable flashlight, but it requires a household AC outlet. Now, why is this a problem? Well, during a power outage, you're not gonna have power to your household outlets. You have to generate that power. And the power that's generated comes from DC power. That's either from a gas generator, portable power station, from your car, battery, etc. In order to create household current, like you have in your regular outlets, you need to invert that to alternating current. And according to the electrical industry blog, it's electricalindustry.ca, they say that electric equipment operating on DC power creates a loss of between five to 20% when AC power is converted to DC power. So if you can avoid having to convert the DC power that's from your battery or generator to AC power, and then converting that back to DC power, because remember, the battery in here requires DC power. So anytime we're talking about batteries, we're talking about DC power. So let's say you have a portable power station. You're charging it from solar. You have your power station at 100%. That's a DC battery. And if you just use the USB ports on there, which almost every battery bank power station has, not a gas generator, but the portable electric battery power stations, the new ones that are slowly replacing gas generators, almost all of them have multiple USB ports on them. And what that means is you are bypassing the DC to AC inversion process. So if you get a device that doesn't require you to recharge from a regular AC outlet, like at your house, and instead can be recharged through USB, like this flashlight, then you're skipping that entire AC inversion process altogether. And again, that's extremely wasteful in an application like a flashlight that would require you to go from the DC power that you've stored, invert that to AC so you can plug in your wall charger, which itself is a converter from AC back to DC. And that is at least one, if not two, unnecessary steps. So think about all the energy you're, you've generated that you're going to waste using that inversion and conversion process. So if you can get a device that is USB, it's almost always better, more efficient, DC to DC charging, which means you can charge it directly from a power bank, directly from a solar panel, although I would recommend not charging any device directly from a solar panel due to the voltage irregularities, always charge a power bank and then charge the device from that power bank. So that's why I like a device like this. You can charge it from your car, your 12 volt adapter on your car. You can charge it from another person's power bank. You can even charge it from another device if it has a built-in power bank. See how this has two ports? You charge it through USB-C and you can discharge it from the regular USB-A. You can charge any small device from this. So much more versatility, many more possibilities. And rechargeable batteries can pay for themselves by extending the life of the device. So as I've talked about in another video, when the battery dies, instead of having to throw away the whole unit, you just throw away those rechargeable batteries and put in new rechargeable batteries. And you do that maybe two or three times, that can more than just pay for that device. I mean, if you've basically done it once, just replace the batteries instead of the whole device, you're almost already there. And also, 
individually rechargeable batteries allow you to recharge without a battery bank charger. So this gives you the best of both worlds. You can recharge these from a lithium ion battery bank because these are lithium ion rechargeable batteries or you can recharge it the same way you would recharge one of these through USB. So anytime you can get a USB or rechargeable alternative to a regular AC powered device or AC rechargeable device, go for the USB rechargeable option because it saves you from having to invert DC to AC. It's not only much more efficient for that finite amount of energy that you've stored and don't want to waste, but it's also a lot more convenient because you can charge it from the source, you can charge it from the location you're in without having to be tethered to a generator and without having to go back to your house. So not just talking about an emergency, but for daily use, for travel, for camping, not have to be stuck next to a wall outlet, but instead be able to recharge your devices from your car, your power station, your portable power bank, or your solar panel. I hope that helps.